and Sports Noon. I'm Gary B. You're listening to Sports Radio STL. If you're in the area of Junkerman and the Clay here in St. Peter's, I urge you to stop on by. If you're a baseball fan, a Cardinal baseball fan at all, you're going to have the pleasure of uh, running into Joe Cunningham, Dale Maxfield, and Don Shaw. So if you're in the area, come on by, and uh, we're going to be talking. Uh, in fact, this half here, first of all, I want to uh, thank our sponsors, Rumble Time Promotion. In fact, July the 27th, on Friday, uh, Friday night, there's going to be the Clash of the Warriors over at Ameristar Casino. You can go to my website, sportsradiostl.com, and uh, click on the Rumble Time, and you'll be able to get all that information on all the MMA Thanks, Gary. Thanks for being here. Well, very good. Uh, quite, quite a place we got here. Quite a place here. Uh, uh, the 100 margaritas here at Sombrero's and uh, a lot of Mexican uh, food. What did, in fact, what did you have for dinner here this evening, Don? I had a chicken and shrimp. Yes, it was unbelievable. I'm even taking some home. There you go. That, that makes it nice. You hold that up, microphone up there. Yeah. There we go. Now, Don, there's all the individuals out there in KFMS land uh, that are uh, basically uh, saying, well, who's going to show up? Tell them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you play for the baseball Cardinals, but uh, talk a little bit uh, about yourself and your playing, your playing time, and then uh, we can talk about what you're doing today. Yeah, I, I signed with the Mets back in the original uh, ramp, the first one back in 65. Played for them a couple of years, went up to Montreal, played with the Cardinals, which I enjoyed immensely, in 71, part of 72, and then went out to uh, Oakland. With uh, Charlie Thunder. And as I uh, was speaking to Joe Cunningham, how did you find that baseball was going to be a career for you for a while? How did I find out? Yes. Uh, it was a uh, surprise, let me put it that way. <laughs> I went to San Diego State and uh, you know, it was a decent high picture, but uh, signing with the Mets and to be up front, uh, at that time they did not have a real good team, a real good minor league system. But, we all signed together, Ronnie Hamlin, uh, Tom Seaver, a whole bunch of guys, and uh, it, it turned out going well. Yeah, you're a left-handed pitcher, as you just mentioned there. Who were some of your teammates uh, at the time? Uh, drop some names with individuals that you played with at that time. Uh, Seaver and I were in the and that was in 67, we were both working there. Uh, Jerry Kuzman was there, Leon uh, Jones, Tommy Yagy, and I. Now in the 70s, as you mentioned, uh, Don Shaw, you played for the Cardinals, 71 and 72. Uh, who was your roommate at that point? Well, Maxwell, most of the time. Uh, and we had a terrific team. It was really uh, amazing playing with these guys that you watch. You got Gibson, you got Royce, you got Carlton, and Maxwell, Corey, Corey, that was his MVP year. Uh, obviously, we were black. Pretty good team. We came in second to the Pirates. Uh, Willie started goal was too much for us. Well, well, hopefully that doesn't happen this year uh, since the Pirates are in first place right now. But uh, we're, we're going to rectify that, aren't we, here Absolutely. in the St. Louis area. What is Don Shaw doing today? I have an uh, insurance broker company uh, sell individual health insurance to both uh, families, individuals, people under 65, over 65. Officer out in Lake St. Louis. Uh, anybody that needs some help for health insurance individual, give us a call. And how do they get in touch with you, Don Shaw? 636 265 1507. Just ask for me and we'll try to help you guys out. As we uh, end this little segment here before we bring on uh, Dal Maxville, uh, what was your best uh, that you remember the most, uh, Don Shaw, uh, with your years of playing, either with the Mets? Montreal, Oakland, or with the St. Louis Cardinals? Uh, a couple of things. I, I like the kid. We're in a bar here, so uh, you know you have all these bar questions. But uh, there's two records that I hold that no one else can break. Okay, Number good. one, I got Tom Seaver. His first win, I got to say, was a great victory. Secondly, uh, when the uh, Montreal Expos the first game won, 
between two teams from different countries, Montreal and the Mets. That was the winning picture I had. <laughs> so they can't be working. Oh, you got that plaque on your wall somewhere. Two of them. Two of them. There you go. Well, that was, that's very good. Well, Don Show, we appreciate your time, and uh, thanks for coming up here and joining us here on Sports Radio STL. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome again or thank Don Shaw here. Thank you. Sombrero's Authentic Mexican Cuisine Thanks, and Southern. Sports Saloon Pleasure. in St. Peter's. If you're a baseball fan, a Cardinal baseball fan especially, we want to go ahead and have and have you uh, stop on by here. And uh, Mr. Dow Maxville, if you can make it up here to the podium here. Uh, come on up here. You'll be able to see Don Maxville. Uh, Dow Maxville, Joe Cunningham, uh, and also Don Shaw are here at Sombrero's restaurant here in St. Peter's. If you want to see their pictures, in fact, go to sportsradiostl.com if you're in front of here, and you'll be able to see Mr. Dell Maxville and myself on that home page, along with Joe Cunningham on there as well. And again, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Dell Maxville! And uh, just a little kid. <laughs> now, appreciate your time. Thanks for being with us. Oh, it's always fun. It is always a great time. And individuals out there, again, know the name Dal Masco, but uh, give within a couple sentences here uh, a little bit about yourself and uh, and how you play and uh, with, with the Cardinals and, and the rest of the organizations that you played with. I uh, just uh, signed with the Cardinals in uh, 1960. I spent a couple of years in the minor leagues. Uh, came up with the Cardinals in '62. Uh, played 10 years with them and was traded to the Oakland A's. Spent uh, pretty much the rest of my career, the next four years with Oakland. A little stop over in Pittsburgh and uh, run, retired uh, in 75, after the 75 season. Well, I remember you naturally as being the glove at shortstop at number 27. I remember that quite well when you played at Bush Stadium there. And uh, that had to be great, a great thrill. Just, uh, I mean, you were doing things with the glove that nobody, that I've never seen before. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, we had we had some awfully good ball clubs in the uh, in the '60s. There, uh, we won won the World Series in '64 and '67, and and uh, also got into the World Series in '68. The uh, Detroit Tigers beat us uh, in the seventh game of that series, but uh, we had some very good ball clubs. It was a lot of fun to play. Uh, you know, it's always more fun to play in the winter, and uh, fortunately, we we did a lot of that in the '60s. So. Uh, I had a real good time. Then I went to Oakland and got lucky out there. I wasn't playing every day, but I was a back, back up infielder and got a couple of World Series with Oakland. So, uh, a lot of fun. Highly recommended as a career to any young man that uh, wants to play baseball. You played again, as I see here, from 62 to 74 with the teams, uh, as you mentioned, the Cardinals, Athletics, and the Pirates. Out of all those years, I know it's very, very hard to pick maybe one year, but did one stick out down Maxville more than another? I, I guess 67 was, uh, you know, we were all pretty young. Uh, Shannon, McCarver, uh, Brock, Javier was young, uh, Cepeda was, everybody was young. And uh, uh, Gibson, of course, was the uh, uh, mainstay of that ball club. Without him, we, uh, we wouldn't have done anything. Or without Brock, we wouldn't have done anything for that matter. But um, I would say 67 was a... Uh, a, a good year, good, real good ball club. The, uh, I went out to Oakland. I didn't play there much. I was a backup infielder, but that was uh, that was a pretty good ball club too. With uh, Vita Blue and Reggie Jackson and Catfish Hunter and uh, some people that were very, very good. We're speaking with Dal Maxwell. Played with the Cardinals here in the St. Louis area from, from 62 to 72, and uh, has a couple of rings naturally from that. Uh, Sombrero's Authentic Mexican Cuisine and Sports Saloon. In St. Peter's is where we are. If you're in the area, stop on by to see him along with along with uh, Joe Cunningham and Don Shaw are in the house as well. Now today, what is what is Dal Maxville doing? Nothing. Nothing. I am doing nothing. <laughs> and I am very very good at it. I, I do not do anything. I'm retired. Uh, spend uh, half the year, not half the year, probably five months of the year down in Florida in the winter time. And. Uh, the other seven months, obviously, here in, in St. Louis. We've got uh, all of our children here, and grandchildren, and great-grandchildren here. So, uh, 
just to uh, try to enjoy life. Now, when you were down in St. Petersburg for spring training, that is where you ended up uh, uh, getting your home, is that correct? That's correct, yeah. I, we spring trained down in St. Pete uh, the entire time I was with the Cardinals from uh, 62 to 72. And, um, and then when I was a coach with them later on, 79 and 80. So I got to know the area, and my wife, Diane, got to know the area very well. And, uh, ended up, uh, she loves St. Pete as much as I did, and that's where she is right now. As a matter of fact, she's down here riding her bike. She belongs to a couple of bicycle clubs, and uh, so she's down there uh, doing her 60, 70 miles a day on her bike. Are you associated with any part of the major leagues today, Dow? No, I'm not, uh, Gary. I, I did some scouting uh, a number of years ago uh, at the end of my uh, reign as general manager of the Cardinals, and uh, uh, but I, I got a little tired of airplanes and uh, you know flights, uh, late flights, uh, all that kind of stuff. So I, uh, I decided to hang it up. Down Maxwell, uh, we're speaking to here uh, at Sobrero's Authentic. Mexican restaurant here in the St. Peter's area. Now, now Dal, you had you had a lot of a uh, lot of things going on uh, in your career there, and uh, your teammates throughout when you were with the St. Louis Cardinals those years. What uh, what, what teammates uh, did you usually room with? Well, I roomed with Tim McCarver, which was probably the biggest mistake of my life. Uh, Tim liked uh, he liked the, the uh, grape and still does. He liked that red wine. And uh, I like Bud Light, so we were very compatible that way. And uh, and I hung around a lot with Shannon, which also was a mistake. But uh, good friends with all those guys. Uh, really, really great teammates. Uh, uh, we still have lunch every year with Carver down in uh, St. Pete, uh, down in Florida during the off season, and then when he comes in with. Uh, Joe Buck to do the uh, Fox game of the week or whatever. Uh, we usually get together for dinner with uh, Gene Deesman, a former trainer for the Cardinals, and that's always a mistake because that turns out to be a real long night, but uh, uh, good times. I have the record from 1964 when you guys won the World Series, and uh, they, they talked about the honorary uh, mayor of Memphis, Tennessee, Timmy McCarver, when he did his home run down there. So, uh, do you listen to that record at all? Do you remember that record? I remember the record. I, I don't. I got it up in my mind more than anything. You were there. Yeah, so I, I don't really have to listen to the record. But yeah, uh, Tim was the mayor of Memphis for a long time. He and still is. Still is. He was from Memphis and, uh, uh, you know, did an awful lot of great things for the Cardinals in Memphis. Being so close to St. Louis, of course, we have great Cardinal fans down there forever. Yeah, Orlando Cepeda. Uh, they interviewed him, I remember, on that record, too. And he didn't speak much English. No, he still doesn't. You know, he, uh, you know, you ask him a question, in, uh, and he answers a different one. That's uh, that's why I always liked Orlando. You know, you never know what he was going to say back to you. But uh, kind of a uh, fun guy and had some great years for the Cardinals. MVP year in '67, and uh, uh, just a, did an all-around great job. Now, in the years you played with the Cardinals, uh, as you mentioned, you mentioned some characters there, naturally uh, with, with all the different guys. Who, who was probably the main guy who was the leader of the entire group there at the time? Well, that's a, that's a tough question. Uh, uh, the uh, 67, 68 uh, Cardinals were, they were made up with some, some players that were very, very professional in their approach to the game. Um, I mentioned McCarver before, he was uh, a, a, a real team leader and would get things done. Uh, Bob Gibson led by doing, uh, winning all those ball games. Uh, Lou Brock, we wouldn't have gone anywhere without Lou Brock getting on base all the time. And uh, a guy that was kind of overlooked throughout the years, and I think still is, uh, Julian Javier. Really a steady, steady ball player and uh, uh, pushed in with the bat, stole the bases, great defensive infielder. Uh, I don't think he ever got the credit he deserved. Very good, very good. Okay, very good. Ladies and gentlemen, again, help me thank Dal Maxwell for being our... Dal Maxfield, Joe Cunningham, and Don Shaw, and uh, our sponsors, Rumble Time Promotions, I think I stuck my finger in my nose and looked at your camera. And Steve Rumble, who's on assignment today, thank him also for being for our I'm Gary Mead. Thanks again for listening to Sports Radio, STL Broadcasting through the Bomberito Automotive Group Studios, live from Sombrero's, and Sports Radio.